His body of work includes the Academy Award winning film Oppenheimer, blockbusters such as Dune, Ant-Man Trilogy, Suicide Squad, and The Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. And he can be seen next leading the cast of Late Night with the Devil, so please welcome back producer, writer, and actor, Mr. David Desmolchin. Good Yay. morning. Hello. I got it Thank right. You. I got it right. You nailed it. That was the most lovely introduction. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I'm mad at you because um, I, well, first of all, I should blame myself. I made the mistake of watching the trailer just before I went to bed. Uh. <laughs> And was like, okay, I'm sitting here like freaked out. I will never watch late night television again. It it's is quite scary. A film. And the trailer trailers are so important. People don't, and the way they cut this one together did such a great job, mm -hmm. kind of, I think, intriguing audiences about our movie without telling you everything that's about to happen. But it's scary. Mm -hmm. That girl. I mean, I was on set with her, you guys. I, I actually, I walked past, uh, there's the, the, this is the, one of the stars of the film, is this young girl, this actress, Ingrid Torelli, who plays Lily, and I walked past her. Uh, dressing room at one point and she was staring in the mirror at herself getting in character and preparing yeah. I was like god I, I know I've been a professional creepy yeah. guy for a long time <laughs> this one's out creep me by like a thousand percent that's what I do wow. that's how I get ready that's really? you do yeah, yeah just just smiling smile evil in the evil, mirror yes, yeah okay I, I gotta All get right. ready for the news um so tell us about the film and what the kind of the plot here is so it's 1977 yeah TV show Night Owls, a late night talk show. Um, the host, Jack Delroy, is not in a great place. His wife has recently passed away. He's okay. having a nervous breakdown. He's an alcoholic. And his show is so clobbered by Carson oh. that he needs to boost his ratings or he's done. So what he did was bend a little bit of the rules of ethics uh, to try and goose the ratings on Halloween night, 1977, mm -hmm. by bringing someone on the show who maybe wasn't in a great place, but in the mm -hmm. hopes that it would light up what was happening on camera. Like, you guys having me on today. Maybe mm. it was a questionable choice, but you thought this is going to goose the race because David's it. so wild and we don't know what's yeah. going to happen. No. Um, <laughs> and things don't go well for Jack. Um, and it's really fun for me, you guys, because it's like watching a broadcast of a late night talk show happening in real time. Yeah. So this is the lost footage that is now. We have a clip. Oh. <laughs> this thing that oh, lives inside of you. Mm-hmm. I call him Mr. Riggles. And why do you call him that? He kind of wriggles his way inside my head, and then he wriggles his way out. But with June's help, you are able to control him. June says that everyone has a demon inside them, but we can't always control them, can we? Yes. Time is. I got it, Jack. I love the throwback. Yeah. Love the throwback. Yeah. It, yep. Go yeah. ahead. No, yeah. no, I was going to say, people are so used to seeing you in kind of like these bad guy, sure. creepy. Yeah. and It's an honor as an actor <laughs> when somebody reaches out and says, hey, we need you to, for this role. And you look at the role and you go, I've never been... I've never been this before, and it seems so out of the box for me yeah. to think about Dave Desmolchin, I can see where I fit in people's imaginations. I've been doing this for a while, mm -hmm. and I see like my kind of zone, if you will, mm -hmm. and I never want to limit myself. I always want to believe that I could do whatever mm -hmm. I was asked to do as an actor, but sometimes it's scary, the mm -hmm. thought of trying to put yourself out in a way. So being a, a personality who's doing like what yeah. you guys do, or say a talk show host, has to be charming, witty, funny, personable, um, and it requires a lot of skills that I don't know that I had. And so mm. it was really a scary um, uh, prospect, yeah. which I think sometimes the things that scare us the most can be the most important ventures for us to take. Yeah. And so taking that leap and that plunge into the darkness and making this film, it actually, for a fun yeah. blast of a horror movie, I'd say it changed my acting in well, many okay. ways. I'm yeah. really grateful cool. for this experience. Some new depths. I'm looking forward to seeing this. Speaking of, of playing a wide variety of roles, you can't have you here and not talk about Oppenheimer. Um, which I've never heard well, of it. Have you ever heard of what it? movie? Yeah, I don't know about it's that like, one. It's like I've never the, heard the of it. Highest yeah. grossing movie of all time. Wow. Uh, but uh, winning the Academy Award, right? And for you, getting cast in it, did you, you know, how did you kind of get into that whole realm of that role sure. and being drawn into a film with pretty much everybody in it? <laughs> that was, there's so many things about that experience that are so incredible for me. First and foremost, Christopher Nolan, mm. uh, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, gave me my first break. The first time I was ever on a film set was his movie, The Dark Knight. I was yeah. a theater actor in Chicago, never thought that I would make it into the world of Hollywood filmmaking, which was always my dream. So the fact that he gave me my first opportunity to get in front of a film camera, to then reunite with him all those years later and get to be a part of his incredible achievement with Oppenheimer, 
it was all the things. Totally affirming, mm -hmm. totally uh, a transcendent moment of like, are you kidding this is happening? To talk about being scared, the fear of I'm bringing a person to life who is a real individual, real William Borden yeah. really existed and walked the earth. He's got family that live somewhere who are gonna probably watch this movie and be like, how is this guy doing this? Yeah. Um, do I do a good job? Do I satisfy what Chris needs out of the film? I'm working with Robert Downey Jr. My first day, I walk in, I'm doing a scene with one of the greatest actors of all time, who's also a hero to me, and by the way, one of the most wonderful people you'll yeah. ever Aww. get Seems to it. work with. Yeah. Killian, uh, all of them. I know you asked me a question and now I've just gone all no, over no, no. the place, but I swear it there. was a life-changing yeah. experience and being there on this past weekend, getting to celebrate with the Oppen homies and the group. The Oppen, Oppen homies. homies. Yes, they, they all, <laughs> are like, we're all in a text thread. There's a great family of, uh, of, of artists who've gotten to know one another because of this exceptional movie. So there's so many gifts that came out of it. I wow. It. I I and I got to thank Chris again. I said, you know, you gave me my first break and he didn't realize that he, he brought me onto a he set didn't for remember? the first time. Well, he, he just didn't know that, that, the that when he first. cast me, that was the first time I'd ever yeah. been on a film set. Wow, he's really changed your life in so many ways, so right? So many ways. I'm so grateful for so many people. So. So many people, but he's definitely uh, one of those just shining beacons of light that yeah. has changed my life as an artist and as a person. So what about your future? How about a rom-com? <laughs> <laughs> my dear mom uh, always go, used to say to me, when are you gonna play someone nice? You know, I, to, to circle it back to Late Night with the Devil, what's wonderful with this role is, as you know, the guy, as a late night talk show host, you have to do a monologue yeah. Yeah. comedic. So I did have to like really study mm. comedy and, and trying to get timing down and these things that are not natural skills for me. Um, and I recently was cast in a new show that has a lot of comedic elements to it from the Whites Brothers, Paul and Chris for Apple. It's called Murderbot, and it oh, stars nice. Alexander Skarsgård, and it's oh, wow. uh, far in the future. It's very, very cool, but there's a lot of comedy in there. Right. Scare, scare, again, what scares us the most sometimes? Yeah. Going into the unknown. We, we taking those plunges, and when you surround yourself with people you can trust and who support you, can yeah. be worth it. Aww. All right, David, congrats to you. We Thank you. you so much. Come on back, all right? Come I want to keep coming back. Yes. yes. And next time it. we'll talk about the hilarious, funny thing that I did. Yes. Uh, yes. Oh. Or You're some amazing. terrifying, oh. scary thing yes. that I did. Yes. Okay. You're an Very amazing good. actor. We, we so appreciate you. you coming in. Thank all right. You. So his film, Late Night with the Devil, hits theaters next Friday, guys.